In this video, you will learn how to use the semi-automatic ABO discrepancy index scoring system. You will also get a brief introduction to the ABO scoring and what it is used for. The ABO discrepancy index is primarily used to get a special certification as an orthodontic clinic. It needs to be renewed every 10 years. It consists of a long list of measurements that describe the malocclusion. The patient is scored using the ABO discrepancy index before and after the orthodontic treatment. You also have to remember to prepare the case for ABO scoring. Perform segmentation of maxillary and mandibular. Set the standard planes. Overjet and overbite should be set for the four anterior teeth and the two incisors, respectively. Please see our scoring system introduction video for more details. Once in Ortho Analyzer, select Questionnaire from the Analysis section. In the pop up window, select the ABO Discrepancy Index option from the drop down list. You will notice that the scoring system steps appear on the left and you are able to click the specific step to go to it. In the Overjet step, all incisors are included in the assessment. Here you fill in the score that corresponds with the highest overjet value shown, based on the instructions presented in this step. Fill in the corresponding score now. Please remember that this kind of workflow will repeat for the following steps. In the overbite deep step, all incisors are included in the assessment. As previously, fill in the score that corresponds with the highest overjet value shown. In the anterior open bite step, you should inspect the model from the left to the right canine. In case there is an open bite, click the Define button and place a point on the incisal edge of the upper and the incisal edge of the corresponding lower tooth. Fill in the score calculated as the sum of the open bite scores, given in millimeters. In the lateral open bite left step, you should inspect the model from the first premolar to the second molar. In case there is an open bite, click the Define button and place a point on the incisal edge of the upper and the incisal edge of the corresponding lower tooth. Fill in the score calculated as the sum of open bite scores, given in millimeters, multiplied by a factor of two. The same is done for the lateral open bite right step. In the crowding step, you should define an ideal arch for both the maxilla and the mandible, from the mesial contact point on the left first molar to the mesial contact point of the right first molar. Click the Define button and start by placing two landmarks to start setting up the ideal arch. Then press the Next Define button below and place one landmark to continue the ideal arch. Follow this process until the maxilla arch is completed from the left tooth number 6 to the right tooth number 6. Then do the same for the mandible ideal arch. Now when you're done, both the maxilla crowding and the mandible crowding values will be shown based on your ideal arch and the segmentation data. In the occlusal relationship step, you should inspect the model regarding the occlusion class and fill in the result accordingly. In the lingual posterior crossbite step and the buccal posterior crossbite step, you should inspect the model from the first premolar to the second molar regarding the crossbite. The cephalometric section should be done outside ortho analyzer. You could either use another software or perform it manually and then fill in the score accordingly. In the supernumerary teeth step, you should inspect a CT scan of the patient and see if there are more teeth than normal. Fill in the score accordingly. Please remember that this kind of workflow will repeat for the following steps. In the midline discrepancy step, place two landmarks on the same incisor to measure the distance between the midline of the upper jaw and the midline of the lower jaw. In the spacing arch step, 
you should inspect the model visually. In cases where there is spacing between the two teeth, click the Define button and place two landmarks to measure the space between them. Do the same for the other spaces on the model and fill in the result accordingly. Follow the same procedure in the Spacing Diastema step. In the Tooth Transposition step, you should inspect the model for any tooth transposition. Please remember that this kind of workflow will repeat for the Skeletal Asymmetry step and the Additional Treatment Complexity step. At the end of the analysis process, you will see the summary. It consists of all the steps involved in the ABO scoring. Any unanswered steps will be correspondingly marked in red, so you can go back to them and complete, if needed. Your ABO scoring result will be the value called weighed total. In this video you have learned what the ABO discrepancy index is and how to use it from the questionnaire function in OrthoAnalyzer. We hope this was helpful and thank you for watching. <laughs>